Seattle, Milford Beagle, better known as Beagles. Good to see you. Great to have you here and great to be here. Shall we go for a mini conversation? Absolutely. Let's go. So, General, have you ever been uh, in a Mini before? I have not. This is my first time in a Mini. Partly Corvette, partly Humvee. (laughs) (laughs) You are a native South Carolinian. How how does it feel to be uh, asked to come home and lead this incredible and important facility? You you get the best of all worlds. You, You get to come home, you get to serve in your state, and fortunately for me, this is a second time at Fort Jackson, so I've commanded here before, but then to command the entire installation in your home state, it doesn't get any better than that. So tell me about the uh, typical cycle of, uh, of recruits coming in. It's a 10-week cycle. When they come in, most will come in through Columbia Airport. Some will come in by bus. They come in at night, so we get them here in our reception center. And when you see them, and I've seen them you know, coming in on the plane, I've been on the plane with some, and I've just sat there and listened to them talk and some of the anxiety and some of the stress and and they all talk amongst each other and I never said a word and they they get here on the ground and you can see a bit of the (laughs) anxiety start to build up because there's a drill sergeant in the airport. Oh, I've been there at Columbia Metro. He meets them, gets them in and we we get them on a bus, we bring them over here at night so they can't really see, you know, kind of where they're going so you just increase that level of anxiety and what you see at that point, you, you think there's no way we're going to transform this civilian civilian volunteer into a soldier uh, because of the hair and some of the attitudes and you yes. know just you know body language, you name it. And ten weeks later, we go uh, to Hilton Field here on Fort Jackson, and they graduate, and you see this complete transformation. I mean, from discipline to manners to just how they stand. You know, a little bit taller. <laughs> Is this the uh, the largest or the second largest basic training installation in the country? It is the largest the in the largest. country. The largest, wow. Largest in the country. 50% of our male trainees that come through the Army come to Fort Jackson. 60% of the female trainees wow. or soldiers that come in the Army come through Fort Jackson. So Fort Jackson and right here in the Midlands is the Army's pipeline. Just thinking of how many of America's heroes started here. It's bone chilling to think of it. Right. It really is. You remember Leonard Nimoy? I Star do. Trek? Yes. Mr. He came, Spock. He came to basic training here at Fort oh Jackson. Oh my gosh. That's Fort amazing. Jackson. Absolutely. He got a different haircut while he was here too. <laughs> Captain, I see no reason to stand here and be insulted. I know that you have uh, written a book on leadership. I think it's called Rock. The Rock. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, well, The Rock was never supposed to be. I had no no desire, no aspirations to write a book. And after my battalion command experience, which a battalion is about 1,200 soldiers, a lot of the soldiers and leaders of that formation kept telling me, sir, you need to write a book, you need to write a book. I said, I have no desire to write a book. The reason why they wanted me to was just the experience we had as a as a team. And it was very transformational in terms of getting an organization of that size to elevate, to perform well, perform consistently, and be very effective. But at the very beginning, it wasn't that way. And all the leadership tricks I could muster, leverage, remember from the past, I pulled all those together. And at the end of the day, it was a phenomenal result. And what they were really asking me to do was put that recipe in a book. And that's essentially all it is, is all the tools I can muster to to leverage to get an organization to go from you know a low point to a very, very high point. It's the same with a commanding officer or a university president. Absolutely. You can't stay hunkered down in your office or in your victory tower right. and expect to uh, bark out orders. That's it doesn't work that way. They may, you may get some obedience, but in a time of uh, severe importance, you may turn around and people may not be there. One of the army sayings is, follow me. You want to make sure you, when you say follow me, you look back and you got others <laughs> behind you. Indeed. I know that you welcome some of our student athletes uh, here to the fort. But what they leverage the most is the obstacle courses. And you don't think you gain a lot out of just going through an obstacle course, but it will tell you volumes about a person's character watching them go through the obstacle course. And when a coach is uh, wanting to put some uh, some player in in the fourth quarter and they are tired, you you can't have tired. We call it tiny heart. You cannot have a tiny heart. You've got to have a big heart in everything that you do because somebody's banking on you to get tired. And as we talk about our threats and our enemies, no matter how hard we work, you always got to imagine somebody's out there working harder than you. 
about a 64-year-old guy who fancies himself in pretty good shape. His knee acts up once in a while. What do you, what do you, how would I do with basic training? I think you'd do pretty well. A okay. lot of it, a lot of it's going to be mental and to mind over matter. If your mind uh, don't matter, then you're going to you're going to get through it physically. Well, anything else you'd like to show me? I've got a, a little bit of a surprise, which will give you some insights into everything we just talked about. We're going to have a bite at the commissary. No, not quite. No, no, no. Take it, go. In the dirt, say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Uh, uh, never, never rehearse, jump in it first. Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. Uh, uh, this is absurd, same to berserk. Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve. Don't got a nerve, man, I never curse. Just casting these spells when I'm spelling these words. That's real, that's real, that's too that's real. Too real. I've been both of I need a new deal. Trying to figure out what I should do still. I'm still really never waiting here too still. too still. I don't even know what I should say at all. Should I jump on in? Should I get involved? Get involved. God, God surround me, they love the talk. I take it all with a grain of salt This work that I'm doing, they never see through it And all of this rap that I see that they ruin I came in, they came in, I'm trying to undo it And still they all say they don't know if the shoot fit I gotta see through it, man, won't be deluded With all these illusions, I know it's disputed I gotta keep growing, they see what my root is I tell you I run this, I'm done with excuses Get me for a minute, trying to get what I've been giving I don't do it for the tickets, I don't listen to the critics I'ma push them to the limit, and these rappers getting timid I've been balling like a pivot, I don't step into the scrimmage I just play them when I'm in it, trying to run it So they're ripping, and they know that I've been tripping when I make him see the vision, man, I put him in the prison with these bars that I've been spitting and this life that I've been living. I'ma go, I'm on a mission. Take two for the trap, job, plotting on the bar. Wow. Well, I don't know if I'm army strong, but I'm army respectful. <laughs> You're both strong well, and respectful. You got down the wall, you didn't flip, you didn't uh, lose control of the rope. The thing about being older is you've got a lot of experience and that did not work in your favor. <laughs> but you were such a good teacher and instructor along with your other uh, fine uh, fine men here because I, <laughs> I had to really let go or I was not going to go right. anywhere. Right. And that was not a happy place to be for a long time. Mm -hmm. We cannot thank you enough for your leadership, for writing The Rock, and for being the commanding officer at Fort Jackson. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.